Shooting outdoors in natural light is a lot of fun. It's also easy and very inexpensive. I shot all of these photos using nothing but a sheet of white poster board and a table set up on my back deck. Here's what my setup looks like. Here we are on my back deck and my setup is actually really simple. I don't need very much space. I'm really working in about five or six feet of space right there. I've got my tripod with my camera on it and a table with my prop and then I've taped a piece of white poster board to the wall. Um, the key with this is that I'm not in full sunlight. I would be if it were a completely clear day but I've got some scattered clouds up there and so they're creating sort of this soft box by covering up the sun and I have this soft diffused light on my white background. If it were direct sunlight I might look for a different part of the house where it's in the shade and I don't have to worry about harsh shadows. Here's what you need to get started. White poster board. Now you can use this to either isolate your object on white or just as a background. Um, and if you want to use it to isolate, which I'll show you how to do in just a second, you can also look for poster board that's sort of shiny on one side and then you'll get some really nice reflections in the bottom. You'll also want some strong tape so that you can attach your poster board to a wall um, and also to the table that your object is sitting on. You may need to also tape down the sides just in case it gets windy outside. You'll need a table or some sort of flat surface to place your object on top of and if your table is a little bit shiny you can actually get down low and use that as a reflection in your image. Um, if not you can also put the white poster board down over it which I'll show you in just a minute to isolate your object. You will definitely need a tripod. If your light isn't super bright you may need to leave the shutter open long enough to get enough light in and really brighten up that white background. Um, so in that case you definitely need a tripod so that you don't have any motion blur when you take the photo. And finally for lighting we're using sunlight but not just any old sunlight. You don't want to set up your station in direct sun where you're going to have really harsh dark shadows around things. The best thing to do is to set up in a shadow area with just full shade. I usually like to use the side of a house or a garage door or something like that where light is bouncing up off of the ground or off of a building nearby. So you have diffuse light bouncing in around your object but you don't have to worry about any harsh shadows directly on it. Let's look at how this works when we're trying to isolate an object on a white background. Okay so here we have a strawberry and I'm going to attempt to isolate it on a white background. Here's the second setup I have here. So we still have my camera on a tripod on my deck and we still have a piece of white poster board taped to the wall but this time the difference is that the white poster board swoops down from the wall and continues across the table. So that'll give us a nice even white background when I zoom in on my strawberry. One thing to notice when you're outside is that again I've got this uh, partly cloudy day so the weather and the light is changing as I go it's getting lighter and darker so just have to pay attention to that when you're setting up your camera settings and make sure that you uh, continue to change as the light changes while you shoot here are a few tips based on things I had to learn the hard way take a lot of test shots and check your exposure as you go the last thing you want to do is to set up an entire scene, get everything just right, get your focus just right, make sure that your props look great, take a bunch of photos and then take everything down, go back inside, put them in your computer and look at them and realize that your exposure was wrong. So just check it as you go and make sure that you're getting it right. Try shooting at different angles. Get a variety of different shots to look at in your computer when you're done. I found out doing this that I really like getting down low and seeing the reflection of my object either in my white poster board or on the shiny side of my table. Fill the frame. Especially when you're shooting on white, you want to do your best to fill your entire frame with your subject. Designers don't need a lot of extra white space. Sometimes when you're shooting outside, it's really hard to see on the back of your camera whether you're background is really exposed right or whether your subject is exposed correctly it's just hard to see especially when it's bright outside so that's when using your histogram and your blinking highlights in your camera will come in very handy just look them up in your uh, manual and find out how to turn them on on your camera and start using them 
The best way to learn this is by doing it. So just experiment a lot and have fun with it. That's how I found these great blue liquid martini shots that I took. I did accidentally break a martini glass, but it was worth it because I got these other shots that I really love. And now I can't wait to go out there and try something else.